Good morning. Good morning. How was your Monday, Miss Vera? Oh, it was good. So, um, today we are going to do some stuff with pumpkins um, and counting. Oh, I love counting. It is Halloween week, so we are going to do some stuff, some more stuff with pumpkins. We did a lot last week too. Um, we learned about pumpkins last week. Yes. This week, so everything's just going to be in the shape of a pumpkin. Okay. So we're going to learn about some monsters, <clears throat> and we're going to read a few books. Nice. Yeah. I love to do that. So what we're going to do today is we are going to do some counting. So, as you see here, here is my pumpkin, and it comes apart into two. And you can make these at home, too. Mm -hmm. So what my pumpkin looks like, it's cut in half, like a puzzle, and I have a number on this side and the number of seeds that match on this side. Oh, okay. <clears throat> what number is this? Hmm. Well, it's a straight line down, mm -hmm. so I think it's the number one. It is the number one. So the number one, and then how many seeds do we have? And we take our pointer finger and we touch one. So they are a match. All right. Then we're going to try with another number, and this time I want you to tell your big person what number. Ooh. What Do you remember that? that one? Do you remember our saying for that one? Around the tree, around the tree. That's the, the way, way we make a three. 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 If you'd like, you can take your finger on the string and trace the, tr the three. Is this the right amount of seeds for the three? Hmm, let's count. One, two. two. No. And you know what, Miss Sierra, I look, the puzzle doesn't fit together. They don't fit together. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Is that the number three? Well, the puzzle fits together, but I think we should still count I just in case. One, One, two, three. three. <gasps> we have a match, Miss Sierra. other numbers do you think we have? Let's see if we can count how many seeds are on this. And then we have to, oh, then we have to find the number. Hmm. One, two. Two, two seeds. Alright. We have two seeds. Is this the number two? I don't think that's the number two. Or is this the number two? <gasps> I know when it is. It is this one. This that one is the number two. two. Do our puzzles fit together? They do. All so right. that means we are right. All right. Hmm. We're gonna do one more here, and then we want you to go make these at home. Mm-hmm. All right, Miss Lucy. Which one should we start with? The number or the seeds? Let's do the seeds again. All right. One, one two, two, three, four, four five, five, six. Now, Miss Sierra, when I counted, I noticed mm -hmm. some of my friends at at school struggle with this. Every time I count, I tap it and then I move and I tap it and move. Some of my friends tap it, tap it, and they keep counting. You got you don't count until you move your finger. That's a good tip, Miss Lisa. Yeah. Gotta make sure we go slow when we're counting. So we have four. Four. Seeds. <gasps> is this the number four? That is the number it four is. and it matches. So, that is a fun way to preface your numbers. Mm -hmm. um, you could do it all the way to 10 or however many numbers you know right now. Yeah. Let's see. Mm. Here, I'm going to bring it up so you can see what it looks like. There is our puzzle. There they go. And you could even post cut the pumpkins. Your big person can never do that. Um, you can do it too because no matter how you cut it, it'll still go together like a puzzle. Yep. And maybe you don't have the paper to make it. You could always use whatever you have around the house. Maybe you actually have pumpkin seeds. Yeah. Try to count your pumpkin seeds. Mm -hmm. And then tell your big person how many pumpkin seeds you have. Or count your cars. All right, that's it for today, Miss Lisa. All right, so we will see you back on Tuesday.